Hi guys, this is me Kong again from Posh Coaching Classes. As you know, the last video which I did, it was about the basics of trigonometry. So today we are going to start the exercise, the textual exercise. We will do part uh, first of the exercise, that is there are 10 to 11 questions. So we will be doing first five questions in this exercise. The rest of the questions will be done in the next exercise. I would request you guys, whoever is watching the video, to please watch the video till the end so that you will come to know about all the things what I am supposed to do here and later on what you are supposed to do when you are doing these questions. So let's get started with our first question. Our first question of the exercise says, it says in a triangle ABC right angled at B. So we have a triangle and it says it is a right angled triangle wherein right angled at B. So we have B as the right angle and AB is equal to 24 and BC is equal to 7. So you can put an A here and C here. So AB is equal to 24 and then we have BC equal to 7 centimeter. BC equal to 7 centimeter. So this is exercise 8.1 and the question number one so whenever we are doing trigonometric question if you have seen my previous video in that video as well i have told you guys that whenever there is a trigonometric problem you need to understand first thing it, that is the triangle has to be a right triangle so we have a right triangle now a triangle has three sides so we have two sides given we don't have the third side. So first thing before checking what we are going to you know, find in this uh, solution, we need to find this third side. And this is obviously the hypotenuse because this is the longest side. So you guys must be knowing Pythagoras theorem. So we will use Pythagoras theorem and try to get the value. So I'll say in triangle ABC, right angled at B, using P G T. You guys must be familiar with this. It is Pythagoras theorem. And what does it say? It says hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Okay. Now what do we have? We don't have hypotenuse. So let's keep hypotenuse as it is. Then we have base that is seven centimeter. And then we have one more thing that is perpendicular that is 24 centimeter. Clear? Now hypotenuse is AC. So we can put this as AC square. Now seven square, seven multiplied by seven is 49. Then 24 multiplied by 24 is 576. Okay? Now, what is the next thing to do? We need to add them. So if we add 5, 7, 6, and 4, 9, it's 15, 7, 11, 12, 625. Okay? Now, what do we want? We want AC. So AC will be under root 625 centimeter square because this square goes that side. And now AC, we know it for a fact that 25 multiplied twice gives us 625. So we have AC equal to 25 centimeter. So this was the first part that was we were supposed to do. So we got this as 25 centimeter. Now, you can make a note of this and I'll just rub this off. Now we will see what actually the question is asking. Now we have all the three sides. Now we can see that whatever the question is asking, we can give the answer. Now what does it say? It says determine the value of. So the first part is sine A and cos A. We have to find sine A. Then we have to find cos A. If you remember in my previous video, I gave you this thing that was P, B, P, H, H, B. Then this was sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, and cot. 
upside down. Okay, so now we are talking about sine A. So the angle A is here. Now, if we see sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse and cos is base upon hypotenuse. Here, when we are talking about this angle, this becomes perpendicular, this becomes base and hypotenuse will be unchanged. If you have doubts, please watch my previous video. In that video, I have detailed, uh, given the detailed information about this thing. So you can just go through that as well. So this is perpendicular, this is base and this is hypotenuse. So here, the perpendicular is 7 centimeter and then we have hypotenuse as 25. Cos A base upon hypotenuse this is base and this is hypotenuse so 24 upon 25 so that's the answer now the second part what does it say it says sine c and cos c sine c and cos c here also sine is perpendicular by hypotenuse and cos is base upon hypotenuse. Now this angle has changed. So what do we have? We have angle C. Now we are talking about this angle. So when we are talking about this angle, this becomes perpendicular, this becomes base and the hypotenuse remains the same. So perpendicular here is 24. Hypotenuse is 25. Here base is 7 and hypotenuse is 25. I hope this is clear to you. So this is question number one. If you want to make a note of it, you can just pause the video and make a note of it. I will see if there is anything else left. That's it. That, that was our first question. So I'll just rub this off. Let's move to question number two quickly. So question number two. Now let's see what does it say. It says there is a figure given and obviously it has to be a right angled triangle. So the figure is given and then we have PQR. It's P, Q and R. Then we have PQ as 12 centimeter. Then we have, okay, in the figure PQ, uh, PR is 13 centimeter. PR is 13 centimeter okay and we need to find this thing so first of all let us try and search this using the same thing we'll say in right angled triangle pqr right angled at q using Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square hypotenuse already given here 13 then we have base that is not given so QR and then perpendicular is 12 centimeter see uh, we can follow the same procedure even if we have to find this so if this is to be found we can use the same formula this has to be found same formula even hypotenuse same formula so don't get confused in case if you have to search for another thing so here it's one three that is six thirty thirteen square that is one six nine then we have qr square then one forty four centimeter square now this has to be searched so what we will do we'll write this here plus 144 and then 169 centimeter square qr square remains here 169 centimeter square minus it goes that side 144 centimeter square qr square is equal to 25 centimeter square 169 minus 144 so now qr is equal to under root 25 centimeter square and QR will be 5 centimeter whole square. So we have got the value of QR 
that is 5 centimeters right so now instead of question mark here we can put 5 centimeter is that clear perfect so now I'll just take this off and now I will see what the question is asking what do we have to search for so now what it says it says just give me a second question number two okay now we have to find tan p and quart r the actual thing to be found is tan p minus quart r we need to find the value of this tan p minus quart r so individually i will find these two first so first is tan p if i see here tan is perpendicular upon base and p we are talking about this angle so here the perpendicular is qr and base is 12 centimeter so qr is 5 upon 12 clear now we have to find another thing that is cot r if i see here cot is base upon perpendicular and the angle is r so we are talking about this angle so this is base this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so base is 5 upon perpendicular is 12 now let's take this equation it says tan p minus cot r tan p the value of tan p is 5 upon 12 the value of cot r is again 5 upon 12 so this and this is gone so we have zero answer is that clear very simple right so i'll just take off this thing and i'll go to question number three trigonometry is too easy just you need to keep one thing in mind that there are a few formulas and few tables that we have to be sure about if you know the formulas and tables definitely trigonometry is an easy game so let's move to another question now the question is a bit different so it says sine a is equal to 3 upon 4 okay so now there's a bit change so what we are going to do we will draw the triangle first and we know it very well that it has to be a right angle triangle so I will take this as A because the angle is given this as B and C now it says sine A is 3 upon 4 if I see here sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so I will take this as perpendicular and this as hypotenuse so 3 upon 4 right yes so this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse now what do we have to search we have to search this particular base so using the same thing in right angled triangle ABC using PGT hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square hypotenuse is already given so that is 4 then we have base that is not given so we need to keep it as a b and then we have perpendicular as 3 4 is 16 4 multiplied by 4 then a b square will be the same thing and then 9 or a b square plus 9 is equal to 16 a b square is equal to 16 minus 9 a b square is equal to 5 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 7 and now a b is equal to under root 7 so what do we have the value of a b it says the value of a b is under root 7 so we can put this as under root 7 right so now we have got all the three sides now the question is what do we have to search for let's see what it is actually asking now what it's asking it's asking calculate the value of cos a and tan a the values of cos a and tan a cos a and tan 
A. So here, if I see cos is based upon hypotenuse, cos A is equal to base upon hypotenuse. We have the base that because the angle is here, so that's the reason this is the base. So base is under root 7 and hypotenuse is 4. Then we have tan A. Tan means perpendicular upon base. Base. So perpendicular is 3 and base is under root 7. I think this is what, it, what it's asking. So yes, that's what it is asking. We have to find the value of cos A and tan A. These are the answers of this particular question number 3. Right. So I will wrap this off and move to question number 4. Just make sure that you practice these things because you have got a lot of marks in this particular chapter and this chapter is one of the important chapters of class 10th. So let's see what the question number 4 is. Now it says 15 cot A is equal to 8. 15 cot A is equal to 8. Later part of the question we will see that later. Now in this case what I can do I can write cot A is equal to 8 upon 15 because this is in multiplication going that side obviously in division. Now let's see what cot is here upside we have to see so it is base upon perpendicular. So cot is base upon perpendicular. Let's draw a right angle triangle and the angle is A let's put an A here. So we have base equal to 8 and perpendicular equal to 15. So hypotenuse is missing. Let's go and find it. So using Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC. So hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Hypotenuse is not there. Base is 8 and then perpendicular is 15. Hypotenuse is AC square 64, 2, 2, 5. 15 multiplied by 15, 2, 2, 5. 8 multiplied by 8 is 64. Now we have to add 2, 2, 5 and 6, 4, 9, 8, 2. So it is 2, 8, 9. And then AC square is equal to under root 2, 8, 9. AC square is equal to, if you don't know how, you know, the square root, you can definitely find it as well using division method or whatever method you like. So if I take 1, 1, 1, then we have 1, 8, 9. It is 2, 27 multiplied by 7, 4, 9, 7 to 14, 18. So 7, 7, 1, 8, 9. This is the division method what I'm doing. So I got to know that 17 square is 289. So I will write AC equals to 17. So this is 17 now. Right, so we have got all the three sides. Now, what next? Next, we have to see, and before that, I will just rub this off. I hope you are able to understand these questions. In case if you have doubts, please do comment. I always ask this to you all. Please do comment, all right? So now, what does it say? It says, the next part of the question is find sine a and sec a sine a and sec a so sine if i see here is perpendicular upon hypotenuse and sec is this is sine cos tan cosecant sec hypotenuse upon base a we are talking about this angle so a sine a perpendicular upon hypotenuse this is perpendicular that is 15 this is hypotenuse that is 17 then sec a hypotenuse is 17 upon basis 8 so these are the 
answers of this particular question right i hope this is clear let me see if there's anything else asked by the question i think that's about it yes that's about it so let's move to question number five of this particular exercise that is 8.1 so question number five let me see what question number five says all right guys so question number five says if we have sec theta equal to 13 upon 12 sec theta is equal to 13 upon 12 so if i see that thing sec is hypotenuse upon base that is hypotenuse upon base so if i make a triangle here and obviously it has to be a right angle triangle let the theta be here so hypotenuse is 13 and base is 12 so we don't have the perpendicular let's go and get it so we will say in the right angled triangle just give me a second excuse me guys okay in the right angled triangle using Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square now we have hypotenuse so that is 13 we have base that is 12 and then we have perpendicular that has to be searched so let's keep it perpendicular scale now 13 into 13 is 169 12 into 12 is 144 plus perpendicular scale let's take this and keep it this side so we'll say or 144 plus perpendicular scale is equal to 169 perpendicular scale is equal to 169 minus 144 perpendicular is equal to 25 and now the perpendicular will be under root 5 square so what does that mean that we have a perpendicular now which is 5 centimeter or whatever unit is given so this is our perpendicular now we will see what the question is actually asking the first thing as i said in all the questions we need to have all the three sides of the right triangle once we have that definitely we can go ahead and see what the question is asking so let's see question number five now it says calculate all other trigonometric ratios so we have six trigonometric ratios and uh, we have one given here so let's search the other five sine theta then we have cos theta then we have tan theta afterwards we have cosec theta sec theta is anyways given and then cot theta so let's see what these values are first of all sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse cos theta is base upon hypotenuse tan theta is perpendicular upon base cosec theta is hypotenuse upon perpendicular sec theta anyways that is 13 upon 12 and then cot theta that is base upon perpendicular let's see now we will just look at the figure the triangle and we will get to know the values so perpendicular is 5 hypotenuse is 13 base is 12 hypotenuse is 13 perpendicular is 5 base is 12 hypotenuse is 13 and perpendicular is 5 this is done base is 12 and perpendicular is 5 right perpendicular 5 okay so these were the questions what we were supposed to do today we are done with half of the exercise the rest of the exercise will be done by me in the next video which will be coming pretty soon till then please do watch this video complete and even the previous video whoever has missed that video please do watch that video as well and do subscribe to our channel thank you for staying with me i will stay i will see you in the next one you have a wonderful time you have a great time thank you so much